Hi, welcome. Today I'll be doing a general read for Sagittarius. Uh, keep in mind these are general reads. They may not resonate with everybody, and that's okay. So for the week of August 3rd to 9th, we have for Sagittarius. So we'll look at the past, recent past, present, and future, and then we'll clarify as we go through. We have the Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Wheel in the past. In the present, we have the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, Ten of Wands. In the future, we have the Four of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Three of Swords. So in the past, to me it looks like somebody's been creating something that has them moving in a different direction. Uh, and into a new cycle. So somebody's been working hard on something and moving into a new cycle in the present. We have the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Possibly somebody could have lost their way, or there's been some conflict um, that's created a different path. Uh, in the future, we have the Four of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Three of swords um, to me that almost looks like somebody's stability was interrupted uh, causing some pain uh, let's go through and clarify uh, for Sagittarius let's clarify the recent past we have page of cups and we have the strength card So it looks like there might have been an offer uh, or a relationship offer in the past that let that was starting to really work or cause a lot of work. Uh, somebody had to exercise a lot of uh, internal strength, um, but it looks like things has sort of turned over um, or has come into a new cycle. Um, going into like the Five of Swords energy where there's been a bit of conflict uh, possibly somebody somebody um, having some internal conflict or out and outright conflict uh, let's clarify that we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Two of Cups we have the Ten Three of Cups and the Two of Cups here. So it looks like there was a relationship uh, that might have actually been somebody was focusing on, uh, but there was been some deception, or uh, somebody was walking away from something that's that's causing um, a change in direction or a change in path here. Uh, but this is actually going to lead uh, into the future. So this relationship, as we have the Two of Cups here, um, having somebody sort of try to find their way in the dark uh, through all of this with not a lot of clarity. Uh, but as you move through this, we go into a Four of Wands energy up in the future where we're looking at a um, something that's a little more stable. That's moving from stability into sort of calmer waters. Uh, but still leading to a bit of heartbreak. Uh, let's clarify the future. So we have the Hermit, and we have the Hierophant. Both two major arcana cards. So as I'm looking at this, yeah, somebody's, somebody's searching for that, um, that stability, that calmer water, something that's a little bit more uh, institutionalized or um, 
along the lines of, of a uh, more formal marriage or something like that. But it's leading to this, this sort of uh, pain. And that could be that uh, somebody's walked away from somebody in the past um, to try to start something new. So the past could be, yeah, it could be that, that somebody's walked away. Uh, it took a lot of strength. Somebody took this offer. It kind of went somewhere, but then it didn't. Created a bit of conflict. And something new has come in that caused that celebration. And you're trying to find that new path. Uh, leading forward to your stability um, but it looks like somebody's still hurt from what was left behind um, what do we have for Sagittarius uh, let's clarify this three of swords five of wands conflict king of swords cutting through the bullshit and the moon uh, looking at uncovering secrets uh, or not everything is as, as it actually is, is how it's being seen. So it looks like there's some in, inner conflict um, and still stuff that remains to be seen uh, with this relationship. Uh, not it, everything's out in the open. What do we have for final guidance for Sagittarius? Any advice for Sagittarius? Page of Pentacles, Death card, Ace of Swords. So we could have a new start and new communication that's coming through um, or that new start is uh, transforming you some way uh, into receiving new communication. Uh, let me just have, let me clarify this. Nine of Cups and Four of Swords. Interesting. Transforming from the past here is bringing in a new start where you'll be um, victorious. Uh, this will also lead to Nine of Cups, which is success. Uh, and it'll allow you to take a break from sort of this conflict that's been happening before. Well, I hope this resonates with some of you. Uh, if not, that's okay. Don't make it fit. Um, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, best of luck this week.